Hey, greetings Team 480. It is November 14 already, and we're racing up to the holiday season, which is very stressful, and we are compounding that with the fact that you have a lot of reading and writing to do, etc., which may include revisions. Remember, you have that opportunity to rewrite. And I appreciate the phone calls from people reaching out for clarification of expectations. Uh, I've read a couple of rough drafts so far. I've only had a couple. So if you're confident in what you've written so far that you're going to build on, that's great. I've uh, read some very good rough drafts, actually. I'm very proud of those people that submitted. Um, and uh, I'm very glad and grateful to have the opportunity to give advice to tame the proverbial information beast that some of these research projects really can can be. I also want to thank those instructors, et cetera, the points of contact, such as Rob, Dr. Rob DeWalt, et cetera, and uh, that have been able to uh, assist uh, are some of our students in this particular, on our team here with their research projects. I also know that there's some people have been very, very upset and flabbergasted because they've reached out to agencies and it's crickets. They don't hear back from them or they do it. Then if they do it, maybe a little late. As you know, we need to be flexible and nimble. And that's what I'm here to tell you. Flexibility and being nimble. And we break off into plan B. And we don't have a lot of time. So you want to take advantage of that. So I will be around and on the grid, naturally, as I am every day, and mostly in the evenings as well as on the weekend. So don't fret. If you're stuck, let me know. Now, allocate your energy. You know, people say, well, I'm not a good at, I have to be good at time management. It's not about time, is it? You know, it's about when you have that cerebral energy going that you can actually sit down at your computer, you know, getting into the Shapiro Library and doing your reading and research. They're in a bachelor's program, and that is one of the, uh, the strong calisthenics we have to exercise all the time with a very, very heavy correlation to our profession. As I've said before, it is critical that we are excellent writers, excellent communicators. And we can demonstrate problem solving. We understand how to research problems. That's who we are. It doesn't make for good TV shows or movies, but that's where the bulk of the successful work is being done by police departments, correctional facilities, human services agencies, really, the researchers behind the scenes really are the heroes. They really are, okay? And so the work you're doing here and what you're preparing and what you're taking from this course, I promise you, I guarantee you, that although you may not do a research project when you're somewhere on the job, you may contribute to a research project or you will contribute information that will help someone doing their research or you'll be in charge of deployment of the recommendations which you'll be putting together. So, excuse me, trust me, as a retired police officer, we did this, okay? And we did it a lot. Uh, and we didn't have the luxury of high-speed computers at that time. We had computers, but uh, research was really, to be honest with you, brick-and-mortar library research, uh, working with uh, government facilities, etc. So right now, you at least have some speed. But allocate your energy when you're really high energy and focused and you're able to, you know, discern, identify and scrutinize the information you need to put together a really good research proposal. Okay, I am available for help, as you well know, so keep, keep on rocking.